Hello, and welcome to our video about the crybaby serial killer, Igor Erdyshov. Erdyshov was a Ukrainian serial killer who operated in the city of Lviv in the early 2000s, and his story is a chilling reminder of the dangers of unchecked violence and mental illness. In this video, we'll take a closer look at Erdyshov's crimes, his motivations, and the legacy he left behind. Early Life and Background Igor Erdyshov was born on May 6, 1982, in Lviv, Ukraine. He had a troubled childhood and was frequently abused by his father. He also suffered from a speech impediment, which made it difficult for him to communicate with others. As a teenager, Erdyshov became increasingly isolated and developed an interest in horror movies and violent video games. He dropped out of school and spent most of his time at home, where he began to experiment with drugs and alcohol. Murders Igor Erdyshov's first known murder took place in 2002 when he killed a 50-year-old woman in her apartment. He strangled her with a rope and then stole her valuables. Over the next few years, Erdyshov continued to target vulnerable women and children. He would lure them to secluded areas, where he would torture and kill them. He often used a knife or a hammer to inflict gruesome injuries on his victims. Despite his brutal methods, Igor Erdyshov was known to be a very emotional and sensitive person. He would often cry and express remorse after committing his crimes. Arrest and Conviction In 2006, Igor Erdyshov was arrested after police discovered the body of a 10-year-old girl in a forest outside Lviv. DNA evidence linked him to the crime, as well as to several other murders. During his trial, Erdyshov confessed to killing six people but claimed that he was driven to his crimes by a higher power. He was found guilty of murder and sentenced to life in prison. Legacy Igor Erdyshov's case shocked the people of Lviv and Ukraine as a whole. Many were disturbed by the brutality of his crimes, as well as by his emotional instability and apparent lack of remorse. In the years since his arrest, Erdyshov has become something of a cult figure in certain online communities. Some have even created artwork and music inspired by his crimes, while others have defended him as a victim of society's cruelty. However, most people still regard Igor Erdyshov as a monstrous and dangerous individual whose crimes will never be forgotten. The crybaby serial killer, Igor Erdyshov, is a chilling reminder of the dangers of unchecked violence and the devastating impact it can have on society. His case is one that continues to be studied by criminologists and psychologists in an attempt to understand the motivations behind such horrific acts. Many experts believe that Erdyshaw's emotional instability and difficult upbringing contributed to his violent tendencies. His troubled childhood, combined with his love for violent media, likely created a perfect storm of factors that led him down a dark path. It is also worth noting that Erdyshov's case highlights the dangers of untreated mental illness. Despite his obvious psychological issues, he was never diagnosed or treated for any condition, which may have contributed to his violent behavior. The Crybaby Serial Killer's case also underscores the importance of effective law enforcement and justice systems. Erdyshov was eventually caught and convicted, thanks to the diligent work of law enforcement officials and the support of the community. Overall, the legacy of Igor Erdyshov is a complicated one. While he will always be remembered as a brutal and dangerous killer, his case also sheds light on some of the underlying issues that contribute to violence in our society. By studying his story and understanding the factors that led to his crimes, we can work towards creating a safer and more just world for everyone. Another aspect of Igor Erdyshov's case that is worth examining is the role of social isolation in his actions. Erdyshov was known to be an extremely isolated individual who struggled to connect with others and often spent long periods of time alone. This kind of social isolation has been linked to an increased risk of violence and aggression as individuals who feel disconnected from society may become desperate for attention or validation. In Erdyshov's case, his love of violent media and his desire for attention may have fed into his violent fantasies, ultimately leading him to commit unspeakable acts. However, it is important to note that not all individuals who experience social isolation or mental illness become violent. In fact, 
the vast majority of people with mental health conditions never engage in violent behavior. That being said, the Crybaby Serial Killers case does highlight the importance of recognizing and addressing mental health concerns in our communities. By providing support and resources to those who are struggling, we can help prevent tragedies like the ones committed by Igor Erdishov. And that's it for our video on the Crybaby Serial Killer, Igor Erdishov. His story is a difficult and complicated one, full of uncomfortable truths and difficult questions. But by examining his case and learning from his mistakes, we can work towards creating a safer and more just world for all. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content.